All right, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this, uh, what do we got? Monday evening, President's Day, earlier today. It is about 9 p.m. West Coast time here, California time, and taking a look at the Earthquake Live 3D stream right now. I do have some data stations up here from a couple distinct sources there, uh, including Yellowstone National Park up here, where they've had a couple earthquakes there, some smaller quaking going on. Uh, pretty quiet down here in the uh, Mendocino, California region, uh, but also some spiking of earthquakes down there in Southern California along the Ridgecrest area as well. Um, so some, some earthquake activity out here along the West Coast to talk about. I do, or I did, manage to update my other uh, station list here on the old format. And you can see uh, earthquake activity occurring down near China Lake, California, which is in the Ridgecrest area. That's the station right down here. And also some spiking going on on Yellowstone as well. So probably going to incorporate incorporate the older activity or the older uh, seismograph that I have up on the screen right now back to its normal location. Um, that way we can view more stations around the globe. I'm pretty limited on the amount of stations I can show uh, when it comes to this other seismograph station down here on the bottom left corner, I can only show roughly about three stations But the good thing about that is I can go back like eight hours of activity And that's why these earthquakes these spikes of earthquakes are showing up there on the graph That's the only benefit to that uh, but uh, downside is the the um, The uh, I lost my train of thought there for a second for a minute or how many hours I'm going to lose it um, the amount of stations that I'm able to pull up there so zooming in here on California the west coast region this is the USGS one day all magnitude maps right here and uh, not a whole lot of large earthquake activity but there has definitely been an increase in, in earthquake activity in general um, some smaller earthquake activity um, we'll go down Southern California here in just a minute, but I did want to point out the Ridgecrest area. Still seeing a pretty good sequence of earthquake activity out here. You can see this um, line of activity along that fault rupture that uh, happened back on July 4th and July 5th there, center screen. Most of these are microquakes, folks, but there's still activity and still a lot of pressure out there in the region. The new activity I'm kind of looking at down here along the western part of the San Andreas fault system on the Pacific Plate side. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in here to this area. Not big activity at all, but it's activity nonetheless. And you can see this occurring out here along the uh, along these canyons here around the San San Juanito Juanito fault zone. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've definitely heard of that fault zone before. Um, kind of just a, a secondary major fault um, just west of the San Andreas fault system which sits well over here to the east and that San Juanito fault system runs all the way up to well you guessed it the city up there of San uh, Juanito Juanito I don't know how you pronounce that um, but uh, that's where the earthquake activity is occurring right now some microquakes roughly in the range of well it's all below point or 2.0 magnitude range there, uh, but it's varying in depth of uh, range there from anything from well, four kilometers down to about 17 kilometers below the surface there. So some interesting activity occurring in this specific fault section, which is no doubt capable of a large earthquake in the region. So that's an area of interest uh, to me. Uh, and as far as keeping an eye on the activity there. Uh, let's shoot up north towards Northern California here. A little bit of activity kind of taking shape across the western coastal range of Northern California from Ukiah over to Chico and up into the uh, Sierra Nevada range here. It's a little line of activity. Not anything big. These are just kind of microquakes like I mentioned down in Southern California, but needless to say that it is earthquake activity. The largest one down there was a 2.8 uh, in Willows, California. That's in northern Sacramento uh, Valley area. 
And that's uh, interesting because there are no plate, um, no known t uh, plate tectonics out here, or at least, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Let's see here. Yeah, there's no known plate uh, areas out here, any type of uh, history of them anyway. Now, I know in this area there is some natural gas drilling, or there has been in years past. Um, I've actually seen quite a few when I drive through here. Um, of, you know, oil. I, I don't know if they're oil. Or, it's got to be natural gas out there. I don't believe it's oil. Because further down south towards the Sutter Buttes area, which is this mountain range, which is a dormant volcano um, from year, many years past, um, there's a lot of natural gas drilling out there in that region around the Sutter Butte. So that's this area in Willows just north of here uh, is no doubt uh, natural gas as well. So um, not for sure what's going on there with out there with those earthquakes, but uh, it's very interesting to say the least. Um, Sutter Butte's a very beautiful area if you ever get a chance to drive around them out there. Uh, let's check out the Northern Coast Range. Pretty quiet up here around Eureka and the triple junction of the Pacific Plate, the Juan de Fuca Plate, and the um, North American Plate. Pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of activity earthquake-wise at the surface to report um, in that region, which is super good, uh, hopefully. <laughs> good news. Oklahoma still seeing a little bit of earthquake activity over the last day. Uh, kind of shooting its way towards the north, towards Kansas. No major earthquake activity out here in Oklahoma, just some microquakes, largest being a 2.3 near Anthony, Kansas. That's up north here, uh, just north of the border of Oklahoma and Kansas region. So rel relatively, folks, quiet activity out there. I just... I. I did need to do an update video uh, just for the heck of it. It's been a couple days, like I said. And uh, activity has pretty much calmed down, folks, R globally, I would say. I mean, there's not a whole lot of movement out there right now um, anywhere. Uh, according to the EMSC website here, it looks as though there's a little cluster of swarm uh, swarming activity in the northern uh, Mediterranean region. But, uh, like I say, not a whole lot of activity out there right now. This will ultimately change because we know uh, plate tectonics are, well, obviously very active. And that's what shapes this planet out here. So, uh, there's no doubt there's just going to be a little period of quietness. And we'll have to see what comes up next. So, uh, anyway, folks, um, yeah, so I'm going to probably incorporate this... Uh, the old seismograph station here that I have into the loop. You know, we'll get rid of the uh, other ones down there with the uh, individual stations here. I kind of like to monitor multiple stations worldwide and the Global Earthquake Explorer programs gives me that opportunity to, uh, to uh, watch many different seismograph stations around the globe. Um, I had some problems with it over the past week or so, past week and a half where I couldn't access server data, seismograph data, through the servers. But uh, now it looks as though everything's working. So I'm thankful for that. And uh, like I said, I will be uh, putting this back in place of the uh, older station or the, uh, the individual stations that are down there on the bottom left side of the screen. So anyway, folks, um, hope everyone's doing good. I don't know if anybody watched that NASCAR race earlier, but man, what a, what a, uh, what a wreck, um, towards the end there. So not good. It was a pretty fiery crash there with, uh, one driver, uh, sustaining, uh, sustaining, um, serious injuries, but non-life threatening. Thank God. So anyway, folks, um, I'm going to jump off here and uh, we'll be monitoring out here on the side. I hope everyone has a good night. Earthquake ac activity is on the very minimal side right now. So 
that's an obvious sign that something's building up somewhere right now it's anyone's guess out here there's no specific areas to watch uh, when it comes to um, uh, seeing that release of energy right now the western pacific really quiet out there around the fiji islands region so uh, i wouldn't doubt it if that's something in area to maybe keep an eye on because an absence of earthquake activity in the fiji islands region down here uh, new zealand area is very worrisome so anyway folks have a good night out there we will chat you guys a little bit later peace out